What's up, everyone? Tommy here after day two of the Rogue Invitational. And all in all, it was a nice little Saturday. Some college football, some Rogue Invitational, even had some time to make a quick trip to Home Depot. Um, and after our 12-hour competition day, we got to crown a strongman champion. The podium races for the individual divisions heated up. And we had some exciting movement in the Legends competition with some fun pairings as well. But enough about that. Here are my biggest moments from day number two at Rogue. We're going to get things going in the Legends division, and this was kind of a sneaky pick in their workout. Dan Bailey, Miko Salo, and Rich Froning are teamed up. I mean, there's like 15% body fat combined between the three of them out there, looking like a sequel to The Expendables. But no, they don't get the big moment here. In the background of Bailey's leg of the workout, you can see Josh Everett chasing down Bailey during the lunge. The CrossFit OGs will remember that Josh Everett was actually one of the few elite CrossFitters actually maybe the only elite crossfitter to employ a split snatch technique. So his lunge position prowess was the stuff of legend back in the day. And I love seeing Everett attack this workout in keeping pace with Bailey, who is a decade his junior. Everett eventually tagged off to Tommy Hackenbrook, who made it a solid race with Rich Froning the rest of the way. But I love seeing Everett, who was on the first ever CrossFit Games podium, hard charging out there. Up next is the men's division, and the biggest moment of the day for me was the bro sesh that we got in the final event between Chandler Smith and Roman Krennikov. They were the last two to attempt the 290 pound log. No one had completed it yet, and before they lined up, they had a little Dutch and Dylan type moment from the movie Predator with a bro shake and a hug, pumping each other up, and you know what? It freaking worked. The good karma paid off and they smoked the 290 log and both got a crack at the final 300 pound Texas Oak. Roman ultimately missed it, but Chandler kept the good vibes going to get the lift and the win. Now, Chandler trained with strongman competitor Rob Kearney, also competing this weekend, leading up to the competition, and it clearly paid off as he gets a win in front of his dad, Cedric Smith, the strength and conditioning coach for my Dallas Cowboys, who was watching him compete in person for the very first time. Over on the women's side, we had an epic race between Laura Horvath and Danielle Brandon in the Duel 2 event, which was an all-out sprint elimination bracket style remix of last year's finale but this time with a legless rope climb, overhead squat, and a sprint to the finish carrying the Cyclone bag. In the second to last round, with just the top five women in the event remaining, Horvath and Brandon were in a dead heat. Only the top two moved on to the final round, and Horvath and Brandon left nothing to chance, both getting the speed wobbles at the end and diving across the finish with the bag in an epic display of effort. Extra kudos to Laura Horvath for doing the old tuck and roll with the bag to avoid just burying her shoulder into the earth, which is sneaky athletic considering the fact that she was crashing down with basically a 150 pound sack of potatoes in her arms. And better yet, she got right back up and won the event in the next round for her fourth consecutive event win. We're gonna finish strong today and the Rogue Invitational Strongman competition crowned its champion today. But the biggest moment of the day comes from a newcomer on the scene, Canada's Mitchell Hooper. Hooper has only been doing Strongman a few years and only made his professional debut earlier this calendar year. But he has made a huge impact already and in the yoke carry overhead log lift medley, he showed why he's an athlete to keep your eye on in the sport moving forward. Hooper absolutely blitzes the yoke carry section and makes easy work of the three log lifts to demolish the time to beat. And what was a 32 second performance, he beat the next closest athlete by 14 seconds. It was Hooper's second event win in the last three and it moved him into a tie for third with last year's champ, Martins Leachies heading into the finale where he would seal the deal for a podium finish in his first appearance at Rogue. It was performances like these from Hooper that was turning heads amongst everyone in the strongman community. Tomorrow's the final day of competition. Now that strongman's over, it will get replaced with the Rogue Record Breakers competition. But first, congrats are in order for Alexei Novikov for that clutch performance in the final Stones event to secure the title. Enjoy the race for the podium tomorrow in the CrossFit divisions, and I'll be back to bring you the biggest moments from all of it on Sunday.